I'm Reva Godfrey. Welcome to another episode of Cooking With Your Mouth. Today I'm going to be making a green vegan smoothie using the safety and comfort of my own mouth. Now I don't have a blender or one of those bullet contraption things, so let's get straight to it. I'm going to start with the banana, the world's most appealing fruit. Folding your lips over your teeth, begin to mush the banana inside his skin as if you were playing a harmonica. Yup, that's about as far as I made it to. I'm just going to warn you guys ahead of time, this video is going to make you sick as anything, so I advise not eating anything. So it seems in life you see some people who are talented and stuff, and you see people who just think they're talented, and we're going to see a great example of someone who thinks they're talented. So, let's just get right into this. Once the banana's reached a soft consistency... Soft consistency. Rip the end off and squeeze it out what like the end the of the toothpick. That. Perfect. Mushed banana. Now a little tip for you to check the freshness of a cucumber. So I kind of just had to double check this for myself and yeah, that's BS. There's nothing whatsoever that says anything about breaking a cucumber in half and the sound of you to tell if it is fresh or not. Let's continue. To the end and then use your middle finger as a corkscrew to take out the seeds. And to get rid of any final unwanted seeds, just give it a little blow. <laughs> there we go. Cucumber ready. Once de-seeded. You know, just casually playing with the food you're using to eat, you know, just normally. Chew it up into a fine pulp. Just note how much spit is going there. There's, I think this video should be titled, How to Make a Spit vegan smoothie. I don't even think the vegan teachers would even uh, be happy with this. I think I bit off more than I can chew. Now for the spinach, full of iron. Just for fun, I like to play a game of fluffy bunnies and fit as much as possible in my mouth. I feel healthier already. From this to that, via my mouth. <coughs> How remarkable. Ginger is my favorite root. Although it burns, it's full of medicinal properties, which makes the whole process very satisfying. You will very want to satisfying. give up, but you have to keep pushing through the pain. My tongue feels alive. I am alive. No pain, no gain. <coughs> now for the apple. Put your two front molars deep into the skin and start rotating the apple 360 degrees like a barrel. Make sure to take all of- I have never seen a woman eat an apple so fast. How do you eat an apple that fast? A finished, very well peeled apple. Now I'm just going to embrace it, chew it and extract the juices. It's so nice it's tempting to swallow but you must Keep your smoothie in mind. Now for the pineapple. Such an elegant and exotic specimen. Best thing to do is hold it like a chicken drumstick and simply bite into the side. Mmm, so juicy. And we'll be just sucking the juices out now. Deep from the- Stop, 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 just stop. I can't even with this. My stomach is upside down, this is nasty. There is more spit and saliva in that than there is anything else. You can literally see just the spit everywhere. It's disgusting. The center of the pineapple. Now that's all of our layers complete. I now just need to mix my fruit together. I'll use the cucumber as a plunger and start binding these flavors. I'm going to top the smoothie up with bottled water because I don't trust the water from the tap. Embrace my cucumber. Well, I mean, this kind of actually seems like it's so ridiculous that it's a joke, uh, but we'll see if she actually drinks this in the end. If she does, then we'll be very clear it's not a joke. But this is just, this is disturbing. Cumber once more. Smells absolutely wonderful. I've got one of my special glasses for a special smoothie. I'm just gonna pour it in. And then I'm just going to finish it off with a piece of cucumber, some mint, and some hemp seeds. And there we go. My mouth-watering, yeah, mouth-made, <coughs> green, vegan smoothie. <coughs> Delicious. 
Il a chassé. <rire> Alright guys, I'm uh, back. <clears throat> uh, so by the way, that was just the warm-up. We have uh, some more videos coming up here. So again, as I said, this was just the warm-up. Now we get to uh, see what a Christmas turkey is like with her. We're going to start there. You want to finally dice it. So right now, I'm just trying to picture that she had like kids and them just walking downstairs and just seeing their mom just spit casually into the bowl like that. I think I'd rather run away. Really, really small pieces is key. So that it cooks quite nicely when it goes in. A little bit teary. <laughs> I do love cooking. So there we go, there we've finally diced half an onion. What a lovely way to start. We're now going to dice some carrot. So we're looking to uh, go at about half a centimetre along, put it in your mouth, chop it. Note she has just casually a lot of snot on her nose, doesn't care at all. So why she didn't pull out the lettuce or spinach and just start to blow her nose on that. Now we have not only spit, but now snot, mucus inside of our uh, turkey. So this might be the best, most delicious turkey we'll ever see. Chop it up a bit further and get it out so we're getting nice, even pieces. Moving now onto our celery, the green dream. Takes more calories to eat celery than it does that it gives you. Interesting, I always use the right-hand side of my mouth, but you do what feels more natural to you. It's rather like having a drink, the celery bit. I have finally figured out what this woman should do with her life. She would make the most perfect, perfect BBC documentary of a penguin. Just, just imagine how it starts off. Time for some aromatic herbs, and I'm going to use fresh parsley. I find flat leaf far sexier than curly, so that's what I'm going to use. So we want to de-stem the parsley. And then I'm just going to finely dice a handful. As if by magic, diced parsley, perfect. Next, my favorite friend, the garlic. There is nothing better than the smell of garlic for days and weeks. Be aware that the garlic is very, very hard to handle and it really burns your mouth, but it's incredibly good for you. So stay with it and your stuffing will taste the better for it. And there we go. Really hurting my tongue, but you know. Now it's time for our bread, the meatier part of the stuffing. I normally Note, she has just casually a lot of snot on her nose, doesn't care at all. That's why she didn't pull out the lettuce or spinach and just start to blow her nose on that. Now we have not only spit, but now snot, mucus inside of our uh, turkey. So this might be the best, most delicious turkey we'll ever see. Say, if you don't know how to target your bread, go at it like a hamburger. Mm. It's a very good loaf. I always choose the same loaf. Perfectly spherical. No bread knives, no blades. A very, very safe stuffing. It's not traditional to use a lemon, but I don't like to do things traditionally, so I'm going to add some lemon zest and lemon juice. And for safety's sake, I am not going to use a zester. Quite an unusual flavour. Look at these lovely zesty lines. You don't get that with a normal zester at all. And then we're just going to stick our thumb in, wind it in, and start to get some of those lovely juices out. And now we're going to bind our stuffing with an egg or two. And I'm going to do the whisking in my mouth.
there we go our egg binder as with any good recipe we use a lot of butter in our stuffing mix and I don't have a microwave so I'm just going to warm the butter with the cosy insides of my mouth A little salt, some black peppercorn. There we go. All seasoned and ready to stuff our turkey. I've got myself a beautiful turkey. Open up and then retrieve our beautiful stuffing. I can almost hear the Christmas carols now. Just push him in beautiful stuffing mix absolutely perfect and made in a hundred percent safety and now for a final little drizzle of oil and then our bird is ready to cook so we're just going to massage that in and we're just going to bring it round and in and ensure we get a very very crispy skinned moist inside bird then using your hands, simply carve up the bird and you're ready to serve. Beautiful. A little blob of stuffing. There we go. And to finish it off, a little... Well, if you've actually managed to make it this far in the video, you have a stomach of iron. And guess what? We have, in my opinion, what is the possibly worst video I've seen in the entire world and well as in food at least and it is disgusting we're gonna see her make a steak tata -ta. I think it was cow or yeah I think the raw steak tata -ta, ta -ta. I don't know how to pronounce that right but whatever let's get right into it hello welcome to another episode of cooking with your mouth today I'm going to be making a very lovely steak tata -ta using the absolute safety of no utensils except It's been 14 mouth. seconds in the video, and I'm already about to throw up again. This video should be not titled Cooking With Your Mouth Raw Steak Tatar. Tatar, how do you pronounce that? Not British. It should be titled How to Get Salmonella Very Fast and Be Killed Very Fast. That's raw steak. First, we begin with our steak. Obviously, I don't have a sharp knife. So I'm just going to go bit by bit to get the right size cube. Really, you're just mincing with your mouth. Very good quality steak, I can tell. There we go. I'm just going along the edge of the meat. Tiny little pieces from my mouth to someone else's, whoever I choose to feed. And here we have a perfectly formed, very loved, steak cachet made with the mouth. Now we add parsley. I'm just going to remove the leaves. Parsley done. Now a steak tartare would not be a steak tartare without some capers. Here I have some rather hefty caper berries. Beautifully salty. Add a little crunch. And there we go. Capers done. And now for the shallot. Add some little excitement to our steak tartare. I recommend biting off either end to get to the bud inside. It's quite hard to take, but do stay with it. Because this is far safer than using a knife or a blender. It's good for the brain, good for the soul. There we go, a diced shallot in our tartare. It is not good for your soul. It is not good for your brain. In fact, it's making my brain hurt in spots. I didn't even know it could hurt Coming watching this. Very nicely with our steak. This is the most dreadful, Tartar, disgusting, unappetizing, just tasteful thing I've ever seen. I'm going to go with a green. Donut. 
So at this point, I think you guys get the point, but I think there's one thing to add it back again. When I was first actually looking at this channel, I could not help to find that there is a chicken boxer trailer. So we're going to watch this real quick as a little conclusion for the video. And guess what? That was from five months ago. So it seems she is back and now with chicken box trailers, boxer trailers. Who wants to be a goat when you can be a chicken, but not? What is he doing? He has his hands shoved up to chicken. Just any old bird. My name is Magnus and I'm the world's first chicken boxer. That's all. All this chicken. And turkey wasted. I'm 23, hormonal, pissed off at the world. Oh, and I'm fucking horny. They say Red Bull gives you wings. I say eating chicken gives you wings. All right, we're done here. If you guys want to waste your time and watch the rest of this, then do that on your time. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, and uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's for free. No cost to you. So just hit it. It's like, just get out of your way.